Good morning, my Gs. It is about 8 a.m. right now. The only thing I put on my to-do list last night, sleep in. And my body's version of that was waking up four and a half hours later at 7 a.m., which is totally good because I do have a full day ahead of me that I need to get done, mostly learning about Adobe Premiere now that I can use color correction and all the effects and stuff. So that's kind of important for me. I have a little bit of editing to do when it comes to YouTube videos as well, but I also want to work on this other program that I just downloaded. So there's a lot of things of me just kind of computer stashed away trying to handle a few life goals that I need to accomplish. Whatever. It's another day. How you guys doing? Let's go. Hi, my name is John Hill and I've just arrived at Starbucks. So the whole point of this session is to work on Adobe Premiere. I definitely want to figure out a lot of stuff that I've been curious about editing tactics whatever blah blah I'm gonna be doing tutorials on that and that's what I'm gonna occupy myself doing also I thought about something that I think is kind of interesting for people out there when it comes to hustling I feel like there's two mindsets to getting things done and one is the whole pacing yourself taking your time and just doing things as they come and then there's hustling like really really hurrying trying your hardest to get things done quickly and in a certain time period and I actually always advise or I think it's the best advice to go pacing yourself to pace yourself because you can burn yourself out when you go too quickly and when you do that you get distracted and you try to take breaks and you have to pull yourself away from it or you don't have to but sometimes it's easier for that to happen and then inevitably you kind of do less work than you would if you were just to pace yourself and not get overwhelmed so today is a total pace myself relax just go along and do things don't get distracted but at the same time take my time <laughs> <laughs> that dude's laughter was infectious but my video right now the first one is exporting I still have to edit yesterday's too but I'm chilling it's like 1130 right now and I have a few things to do I just gotta go to Walmart I'm just you know taking it step by step trying to take it slow and not get too overwhelmed because uh, that's silly and I do that every single day so today total relaxing I do want to go skate a little bit even though it's a little warm outside Okay, moving on with the day. About to go to Walmart, the best place ever. It's not really, but there's something specific that I need to get there. Also, if anyone's wondering, this is a lens cap. It goes on the lens like this, because I get a question about that probably every single video. We are now in Wally World. I'm actually shopping around right now for a few things that people have recommended for my channel. People are like, try this, do this, blah, blah, blah. And lately, I've been super taking requests, super trying to be active with the people who watch the videos, and when they recommend something, I'm actually really excited about trying these new things, because sometimes I'm like, What's something funny that would be cool? And then some dude's just like, try this. It would be hilarious. And I'm like, you are right. You are very smart. Everybody who watches my channel, they're very smart people. So right now, that's what I'm shopping for. Now, this is how you confuse someone with shopping. Sour Patch Kids, two flat basketballs, and a tire tube. Hi, I'm about to be in LB Skate purchasing something. I don't want to bring my camera inside, so this is what I purchased. Hardware, because I always lose this stuff. And also, Lance yesterday lost my hardware. So, Lance, if you're out there, I have beef with you now. I'm going to make a diss track on Braille skateboarding. 25 minutes long, that's how we do up in this club. So, I have been home for about an hour now. I've eaten some food, I've watched some YouTube videos, and the sleepiness from this morning that I did not get, as in the sleep that I didn't get this morning, is causing me to be hecka sleepy right now. And I think I might need to take a nap even though it's four o'clock-ish and I really wanna go skate Silverado before it gets too dark. So I'm trying to contemplate my life right now, AKA uh, if I should sleep or not. So I got a recommendation that I thought was hilarious, but unfortunately I can't find the comment anywhere. It's in one of my videos, I've looked around, I went through my Instagram, and uh, unfortunately I can never find it. But he recommended that I make grip tape out of basketballs, hence why I bought basketballs while I was in Walmart. So uh, I don't really know how to go about this. And for anyone who gets bummed that I'm doing this to basketballs, I'm not wasting a basketball by not using it for its intended use. I'm still gonna use it. So I don't really get how you turn these halves into grip tape. Uh, I didn't get this flat somehow. I guess I can just cut along the lines and then try to piece them back together once they're on the board. Walking into Home Depot like, what do you think the best way to have this stick down to this? This is the perfect break right now because I was so in the zone on Premiere just trying to figure it out and trying to learn and I was just like so occupied with that that I was like I need to get out of here I need to go skate at least and this project just sounds like so much fun to do so after this I'm just gonna like seriously skate for hopefully hours and hours and hours and hopefully this thing actually works so that I can just skate this the whole time That'd be sweet. I finally own scissors when I walked in there and told to do what I wanted, he was just so instinctively like, you want this, contact cement. Basically, you put this on both surfaces and apparently it turns it into the adhesive that tape uses and then you can just put it together like tape. 
So I technically had to wait 15 minutes to try this, but this has dried enough, very sticky, and so is this. So basically he just said lay it down on there and it should be working. Dude, it's so sticky. Piece number one, just like 100 to go. Yeah, so basically I just, I mean, it's, it, it's been yeah. sitting on here for a while. It's it's funny, it's because when I touch it, it doesn't seem super sticky, but when I put when it down. When they put together, they go crazy, don't they? Yeah, but it's kind of hard to get, you know, it's yeah. not 100% flat. You know flat. what else works on this? It's super dark. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and try to lay the rest on, even though they're not 100% dry, and if I ruin this, I will cry lots of. I mean, it's, it's only been like 15 minutes. It was just like right at the peak of darkness arriving. This looks so bad. This looks like the intestines of a basketball just spilled out onto a skateboard. Like I stabbed a basketball and this is its guts just splattered on my, that's so, I'm getting so vulgar, man. Well, it's incredibly dark here. I have been itching to skate all day and I got sidetracked by my silly little computer and editing and stuff when skating should be the first thing that I do right off the bat. It's like the best absolute way to start off the day. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, skate this thing until it completely falls apart, which hopefully will be a long time. Looks tight. <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, yeah, let's go follow my Instagram. Do it. Uh, XX underscore M dot G dot K dot Whoa. underscore XX Jose. Dang. <laughs> Nice. I just used him so I could focus, but that session off of the. You get all the energy in the world, dude. I, yeah, I'm finally tired. I'm beat. That was super, super fun. High four. <laughs> yeah. Look at this board, dude. This is the best. Oh, you can't. Talking about, hey, what's that? Basketball grip tape, dude. Are you not looking at this board right now? What? Is that? First that try. Way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Front crook. Wow. Count it. <laughs> Friends at last. No way just stepped on my skateboard and his go-to trick is a front crook. Wow, dude. That was dope. Thanks, dog. Thanks for killing it for me. Your hair is getting wild ass. If you can grip the ball. <laughs> you trying to lift me from my head? Yeah. You want to do a trick real quick? Do that? Just because I forgot to do that. Sure. That was really gross. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that session. <sighs> made me so happy. I know I say this all the time and I forget almost every day, but I need to have one of those sessions every single morning because it makes me feel so good, so relaxed. Actually, this brings me to a question that I had from someone submitted. So the question is from Gabrielle Biaki. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names, it's horrible. John, why don't you meditate anymore? That is a seriously good question. I felt like it wasn't helping me really at all. I felt no different after doing it for a month and a half. And I heard Tim Ferriss mention something. He's actually the one who got me onto it. He was talking to this woman who was like the best in the world at Spartan race type events. She was like the number one leader and she didn't meditate, but a lot of her practices getting ready for the sport and just training in general were sort of meditative practices. And he thinks that she was benefiting the same way that you would from meditation. And I think there's a lot of things in my life that are kind of similar. I think skateboarding and I think a lot of the time that I spent in cars isolated and deep thinking because I looked at the definition and deep thinking sometimes is a form of meditation. I kind of think I've already been reaping the rewards of it without having to actually sit there using headspace in a meditative sense with my eyes closed. So, by the way, I am currently shopping for 
dinner. Just watching Robert De Niro talk about Donald Trump. I'm not giving my opinion. Just saying I'm watching a video on it. I'm curious as to what Robert De Niro has to say about the matter. But I am sitting here eating some sushi up in this piece. Um, yeah, and I'm chilling. I'll do the outro in just a minute, but I'm gonna sit here, do this, edit a little bit, and bada bing, bada boom. It is time for the end conversation. I have been editing and watching YouTube videos. That has been my night so far. It has been amazing. I have loved it. But, no quote, and I'm considering doing this kind of alternatively. Alternating. There you go. Alternating between the two. Quote, or like a, a open discussion to hear people's opinions. This has to do with freedom of speech. And I'm curious as to what you guys think about this, because I know there's two sides to this, where people should be allowed to say whatever they want, whenever they want, wherever they want. Correct? Sort of? Maybe? I, that's what I'm kind of interested in, is because as a content creator, I wonder, I've wondered, this. it's a ethical dilemma. When people comment things on my channel or they bully other people on my channel, and what if, what if someone continually goes on a channel and just says something really blatantly sexist or racist? What if they just said, I don't like black people? And they just said that on every single one of your videos. Is that their freedom of speech to be able to say that? And are you allowed to, as someone in my position, to block someone who does something like that. And that is almost like censoring them. That's almost cutting them off from being able to say what they want to say, but at the same time, you're protecting someone from being insulted or hated on, or should they develop a thicker skin? I don't know, I feel like there's so many variables in this scenario, but I wonder what you guys think about that. Do you think that freedom of speech is 100% correct no matter what or do you think there are certain things there's gray area where you're like nah they shouldn't be able to use hate speech on other people and if they can and you have the power to stop them from saying it that it's your obligation to stop them what do you guys think what do you guys think i just think this is super interesting but i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna thank you guys for liking this video thank you for subscribing i appreciate all the love you guys have been support showing the last couple of days it has been phenomenal awesome Great. Everybody's been super nice, super kind, and uh, I'm glad that we have this amazing community. I appreciate you guys being here and making this channel grow and being awesome. <gasps> See you tomorrow for another video. Good night. <laughs>